Hi everyone, it's Jules again. I am back with a Christmas inspired video. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of you have asked on how to, to show a video on how to apply the makeup. Um, on the last one I kind of showed you some of the products that I used and how I applied them, but today I actually wanted to be barefaced and start from fresh and show you guys exactly how I did it. Um, if you have a Christmas party to go to this year or holiday party, I wanted to give you all kind of a holiday inspired makeup look. So um, that's what I'm going to do today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Like my video and subscribe, subscribe to my channel. I will be giving you more details as to the free makeup giveaway, the holiday makeup. Uh, I'll have more details on, uh, on that below on this video. But I uh, hope you guys will keep watching and um, let me know what y'all think. All right, let's get right to it. So I am ready to apply my makeup now. I have already primed my face with my Super Super Primer from Clinique, and I have also done my eyebrows. So now I'm gonna prep my eyes so that I can start my eyeshadow. I'm gonna start out with the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer. And I'm just gonna take just a small amount and dab it on both of my lids. Okay, so now that I have primed, I'm going to wait um, just about 30 seconds so that that can set. But while we do that, I'm going to go and explain to you what I'm going to do with my eyeshadow. Um, I want to go for a Christmas look with some bright red lips. So I'm going to try to keep my eyes toned down a bit. So I'm going to be starting out with this palette from Anastasia again. But this is the Master Palette by Mario. You can find it at Sephora. But I'm going to start out with the Violetta here in the this really pretty brown right here I'm gonna do in my crease and then I'm gonna follow with Hollywood right here with this, which is a pretty gold that I'm gonna do right on my lid and then I'm gonna follow through with my Lorac Pro Lorac Pro palette that I explained to y'all last time that I like to use a lot and I'm actually gonna go in with this black for a really nice smoky eye since I'm not putting too much color on I'm gonna have just a little bit of black in the corners for a smoky eye so at this point, the primer should be set, and I'm gonna go in with my Violetta. I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush for my crease. So I'm gonna dab just a little bit of that pretty brown on there, and I'm gonna start here in my crease. So the way this brush is designed is designed to move the color um, all over the crease so it doesn't stay in one area. And that has applied beautifully. And then I'm going to go in with just a little bit more to do the other eye. And now I'm ready for that gold on my lid. Okay, so now I'm going to move in with the, um, the eyelid. I'm going to go in with Hollywood, the really uh, pretty gold tone right here with my flat eyeshadow brush. About, just about that much on there. And then I'm just gonna go on the actual lid itself. Now I'm gonna repeat for the other side. I'm just gonna kind of blend it so that there's not any lines and it looks seamless. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with my flat shadow brush again. And I'm gonna go back to my Lorac Pro palette in the black that I showed you. I'm going to lightly dip the ends just like that. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm just going to go really subtly here into the corner of the crease and blend it out. Now 
I'm going to go in with just a little bit more for more of a dramatic effect. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to move on with eyeliner. I'm going to do a very thin line on the top lid. And I'm going to use this Marc, J Marc Jacobs from Sephora. And it's, it's like a coal eyeliner. So I'm going to, um, you, want, you want there to be a flat surface on your lid so that the um, eyeliner doesn't drag and leave bumps. You want it to be as smooth as possible so you can pull your eye out a little bit. And I'm just going to go right here on just the edge. I'm going to think I'm just going to do just a really tiny wing. I'm going to fix that because I'm going to go on top of this with uh, liquid liner. So I'm just going to repeat to the other side. This is a matte liquid liner. And it actually has a brush, so I want to just take off some of the excess and go over what I've already done. This is a good way to kind of guide doing eyeliner because I know it's hard just to go in cold turkey and do it. And then with the liquid, you can kind of make this more defined. Yeah, I think I'm satisfied with that. And then I'm just going to go the same way on the other side. There we go. I think that looks even. Okay, so now I'm going to prep my eyes. With the color corrector that I talked about in my first video, this is the Becca color corrector in Papaya. And I'm just going to go in with my ring finger and dab a little bit of the product. And then just go in right here under my eyes where I have some of the darkness. Do the same thing on the other side. And you want to be careful to just keep it in the dark areas. And then I've got a little bit of darkness here above my lip. So I'm going to go in just with a little bit here as well. I think that does it for the color corrector. While that's setting for a bit, I'm going to go ahead and show you my beauty blender, which I'm going to use next. I have um, cleaned my beauty blender and uh, also soaked it and wrung it out and then um, just kind of um, squeegeed, it a lot, squeegeed it out a little bit with a towel, if that's a word. So anyway, it's, it's damp and um, ready to use now. So I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever HD again. I'm gonna dab just a couple of dots here on the back of my hand, and then I'm just gonna go in with my finger and dot my face. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our Beauty Blender and we're just gonna bounce it all over our face. Make sure to go all the way under and right here close to your ear because you don't want there to be any color difference.
and I like to just press it into my skin. And here in my mouth area, I can see that there's still a little bit of redness showing from the color corrector. So I'm just going to dab just a little bit more in that area. Okay, I think we're good there. Now we're going to go on to our concealer, and today I'm using Kat Von D's Locket Concealer, and this is in the shade Warm. This has a really nice applicator as well, and it's a nice thick formula. So now I'm just going to go in under my eye. And I'm actually going to dot some down the bridge of my nose. For a little highlight there and right here on my forehead on my chin and then I'm going to just outline my upper lip here and my cupid's bow that's real attractive but no worries we're going to blend all this in so now we're going to use the angled part of our beauty blender and we're going to go in first under our eyes and just start bouncing it all over the under eye. And you just want to kind of press this in. And that just lightens up that under eye and that cheek area really nicely. Go into my forehead and blend that out as well. And then use the angle side for my nose. Just kind of drag it down a little bit as you're bouncing. And then blend this out. And it just gives you a nice highlight because that part of your face does stick out. Okay, now we're going to set all this in place, and I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And I'm just going to tap a little bit into the cap here, spread it around a little bit, so we get a nice even distribution. So it kind of looks like that. And then you just dip that Beauty Blender in, just like that, and tap that into place. And then I'll do it again for the other side. And then I'm going to set that highlight on the bridge of my nose. So I'm just going to dab that down my nose and then use the other side to blend it out. And then I'll also go in all the areas where I applied the highlighter or the concealer, I'll add a little bit of that brightening powder. Try to do a line right there. Okay, and then I'm going to dab a little bit right here in the corner of my nose just to brighten that area up. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush and use my mineralized skin finish in the dark tan from MAC and I'm just gonna dab that in just a little bit and then I can set the rest of my face
Okay, so we're done with that. Now I'm going to go in with my highlighter. Actually, at this point, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows where they kind of got smudged away a little bit. And I'm just using this Maybelline brow pencil in black just to go back into some of the areas that might have smudged away. hard to get that area in between your eyebrows with the foundation without messing up what you've done with your eyebrows. But I'm just using this to comb those hairs back up and then I'm about to set it. I will do a tutorial specifically for the eyebrows soon, but today because of time I went ahead and did that first. Just following the natural contour of my eyebrows. So now I'll go in with my Benefit Ready Set Brow. This has a mascara looking wand, but it is just a clear gel. And so I'll just take the brush and brush my eyebrows up and then it'll set that into place. Should have enough product on for the other side as well, still. We get quite quite a bit of product that comes out. Okay, so eyebrows are done. Now I'm going to go in with my highlight, and I'm going to go back to my Sun Dipped Glow Kit from Anastasia. And I'm going to go in again with the bronzed. And I'm going to use this flat brush right here. And first I'm just going to go in with the side to get my cheek. And then just go right, right into my cheek. Ooh, that's a lot of highlight. I think I got too much. I'm actually going to brush some of that off. Wow. Blend that all in right there. And then when I, I actually probably don't need to go back in for more because there's still so much on here. Ooh, that stuff is strong. It's good though. Just tells you that a little bit goes a long way. And then I'll just, I'm not even going to apply any more on there because that stuff is potent. Oh, that gives you just a beautiful shine. And then I'm going to go back in with the same brush right above my Cupid's bow. To give me just a little bit of a highlight right there. And then I'm going to go in with this little angled brush right here. And I'm going to dip it into summer to brighten the inner corners of my eye. Do y'all see that highlight? That is a crazy highlight. Wow. It looks good though. Perfect for a Christmas party. Okay, so now we can go in with blush. Today I'm going to use NARS, and this is Taos from NARS. It's a pretty pinky orange, and it's kind of sparkly. I don't know if you can see some of that iridescent, iridescence. And then I'm going to go back to my Eco Tools brush, my fluffy brush, and I'm just going to pat that a little bit in there. And then that's going to give me just an even finish.
Okay, now I think I am ready for mascara and my under eyes. Before I do that though, I'm gonna create a little bit of a line, a liner, a colored liner underneath my eyes without a liner. I'm gonna show you how to do it with eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with this little thin angled brush right here. I don't know if you can see how thin that is right there, but it's a thin, um, it's not a real, it's a, it's a stiff brush. So it's gonna, it's not gonna move much. And I have this pretty color from MAC, it's called I'm Into It, and it's a really pretty burgundy. And I'm just gonna tap the end of this into the eyeshadow, and then I'm gonna line under my eye with this. So I'm just gonna go under my eyelashes and drag that all the way through. And then the same for the other side. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Shiseido eyelash curler. I know this thing looks scary, but it's really easy to use. I'm going to show you. So you're just going to put it on over all your top lashes right there. And then you're just going to gently press. And this is just to lift those eyelashes as high as you can. Same for the other side. Okay, now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite mascaras. This is Marc Jacobs, and it is called the Velvet Noir. Anyway, it is just a beautiful mascara, and I love to wear this whenever I'm going out. It's just a really nice brush, and it lengthens as well as volumizes. But first, I like to just get behind my lashes and curl it all the way out. And then after I've done that, I like to go back in front and kind of wiggle side to side and then drag it out so that you can get the most length. And then I'm going to do the same for the other side. Darn. I got some right here. But whenever you get mascara on your skin, it's best to just leave it alone, let it dry, and then it'll just flake off. So I'm just going to leave that there. I'm not going to touch it because it'll smear. I'm just going to finish doing my mascara. You can apply as many coats as you want to. I'm actually just going to let this dry for a second. And then I'll come back to it. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lashes. Then I'm going to go back to my roller lash for my lower lashes. Just because it's a thinner wand and it separates really well. It pulls all those little lashes that you have underneath your eye and it defines them. Okay, I think I'm done with the mascara. Now I'm going to see if I can flake this off right here. And it did. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a lipstick and then we're done. So I'm going to moisturize my lips with this Sugar Fresh. It's a uh, lip treatment. And this is really good stuff. It 
So because it's Christmas, I want to be festive, so I'm going to go with a pretty red lip. This one is from ColourPop, and it's called a Lippy To Go. And it's convenient because you have the lip liner on one side and the lipstick on the other. So first I'm going to line and fill in my lips. The reason why you want to fill in your lip first before you apply the lipstick is it'll make your lipstick last longer. So if you're sipping on something or eating something, your lipstick is more likely to last all night if you line the whole lip first. So now I'm going to go in with the lipstick side. Okay, my lipstick wants to stay in the up position, so I had to bang it for it to go back down. Okay, so that completes my uh, Christmas-inspired look. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Hope you all were able to see my application techniques and see the products that I used. Again, I will have all the products listed below in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my video, and if you follow me on Facebook, please share the video as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I had so much fun again. You guys have a great day and be blessed. Love you.